Aloha and welcome to the Maui Beachfront Rental Facebook and YouTube page. We at Maui Beachfront Rentals get a lot of questions and our inquiries from potential guests who book with us just about the island of Maui. What to do, where to eat, where's some good shopping, what are the must activities that you should go do, what are the parts of the islands to go see and check out, what are the best beaches. So we thought we would do a vlog series in order that we might be able to answer all these questions and give you a better opportunity to get the most out of your vacation. So on today's episode, I thought we would concentrate a little bit on the island of Maui in general and go over the map and the parts of the island so you might be better acquainted with where you might want to stay and where are the places on island that's the closest to the action, let's say. So let's dive in, shall we? All right, so we've got our map of Maui. Now the first thing to take note of is that there are three airports on Maui. Uh, one on the east side, one on the west side, and one to the north. Now, the east and west side airports are smaller airports. They're mainly for inner island travel. So if you're bopping on over from Oahu or the big island, let's say, you might be coming in on these airports. But we're going to go ahead and just concentrate on the airport to the north, since that's the main one for the island and where the majority of people who are arriving are going to come in on. The number one thing to take note of on this airport after you've gotten your luggage and rental car and are just leaving is right at the end of the road, there's actually a Costco. It's very conveniently placed. And this tends to be a very popular location for people just arriving because you can get right off the airport, get right into Costco, load up on all the things you're going to need for your vacation, and then get to your condo. So it's very good for that. As well, this Kahului Waluku area also has a, a ton of different shops, it has a mall, there's a movie theater there, there are helicopter attractions that leave out of there if you want to do a helicopter tour. So there are some things to do in this area, but this is mainly where the locals live. So you'll probably not be spending a lot of time here in the northern area of the island. After getting all stocked up in Kahului, you're probably going to be heading south to one of three possible locations. Either southern Maui, mid Maui and Maalea, or over on the west Maui side where there's Lahaina, Kanapali, and Napili. First up, we'll take a look at south Maui where you have Kihei. Now, the first notable thing here is as you're entering into Kihei, there's a Safeway. So if you don't happen to have a Costco membership, this is a good place to swing on in and pick up some groceries and other items you might have not been able to pack so that you can be prepared to just jump right into your condo and start out your vacation right. Now, Kihei is mainly notable for its South Kihei Road. It's a long stretch of road that has places that you can shop at, dining, fast food, fine dining, etc., and then it's got a couple of beaches on your side as you're passing, so you can kind of pick just the right beach for you. It's very gentle surf. Um, the waves don't get very high over here. And this is a quiet side of the island, though there's not necessarily as much to do over here as there are in other places of the island. It's a great place to stay, but just a very low-key area. The next area we'll take a look at is Ma'alaya. Now, Ma'alaya is notable because it's probably going to give you the traditional Maui experience more than any other place on island in that it is very tranquil and peaceful here and quiet. It's a good area where there's not a lot going on so that you can just sit back and relax and not worry about a bunch of traffic or a bunch of people all around you. Now it's also notable in Maui because they have the Maui Ocean Center. This is a great little location because you have an amazing aquarium. You've got miniature golf. There's a couple of other little activities that kids can participate in, including rock climbing. And it's got some good food there to eat, too. There's some great places to eat at. As well in this area of Malaya Harbor, you have a lot of activities that leave from this place. Sunset cruises, snorkel cruises, cruises out to Molokini. Molokini is very notable because it's probably one of the number one spots to snorkel on Maui. You have to take a boat, and it's actually going to be that little crescent-shaped island there at the bottom that you see here on the map. And it's a place that would be probably a must snorkel if you're coming to Maui for the first time. So staying over in Maui is a great little spot for that reason. You're next to a lot of the action, but yet it's still very quiet and peaceful. Now, as we head along the island over to the west side and you're heading into the Lahaina area, one little insider trader secret I want to give you is you're going to pass by a pie shop just between Maui and Wani. Now, this pie is amazing. It's this, you can't miss it. It's this little shop off the side of the road. If you're coming through this area, definitely stop by and pick yourself up a pie. I can almost all but guarantee you it will not be the only pie that you pick up on your stay. Now, as you're coming through here, you could be staying at probably one of a couple different areas on this West Maui side. First up is Lahaina, home of old Lahaina Town. 
Now, this is one of the central hubs on the island, one of the must places that you should check out if you're here for the first time, or even if you've been here a bunch of times, because there's probably been some new additions. It's a stretch of town where you have a ton of places to eat, a ton of places to shop, outlet shopping. There's, again, miniature golf here. There's activities that you can sign up for. Um, leaving out of this bay, for instance, they have the Atlantis submarine, where you can get in a submarine and go on a little cruise around the bay there, checking out some of the marine life that's available. So there's a ton to do over here in old Lahaina town, including, again, a movie theater as well. Uh, it's a great place to check out. There's the old banyan tree over there, which is, I believe, hundreds of years old. It's a monstrous tree. Again, this is a great place to go check out. And if you're staying, it's an unusual place to stay in because you can be so close to so much and not necessarily be out in the middle of nowhere. You're, you're going to be able to just leave right out of your place and get right into the action in old Lahaina town, which, especially if you're going there for the nightlife, is not the worst thing to be able to go do. Now, the next place up is going to be the finer area on West Maui. This is going to be Kanapali. In Kanapali, you have two championship golf courses. You've got the Whaler, which is an outdoor outlet shopping mall. As well, there are a ton of activities that set out of here. Snorkel cruises, sunset cruises. Uh, there is also jet skiing at certain times of the year out here, which I would highly recommend. They go very fast and they're very fun. Again, this is a great place to stay because you have so much around and nearby you here in Kanapali, and it's a nice place. It's a very beautiful area to stay in. A lot of choices. From here, if you want to go to, again, more of a peaceful, tranquil, not as much tourist traffic, you would be going further north into Nepali. Nepali is mainly notable because, again, it has two championship courses up there. The PGA comes through there all the time. As well, there's not necessarily as many activities up here, but there are some amazing beaches. Fleming Beach, for instance, which was once voted America's best beach. In fact, that's what's very mainly notable about the West Maui side of the island is that you have Kanapali Beach and Fleming Beach. Both of these beaches at one time were named America's best beach by Travel Magazine. And they are both structured in between a bunch of variety of other beaches. So if you want to see a new beach every day, the West Maui side is not the worst Maui side to be on. Now, as well, they do have zip lines up far north here in Napili, which is great if you want to go check it out. There's some great dining areas, uh, Sanse, you've got uh, the Pineapple Grill. There's a, just a variety of different places to kind of choose from to eat. But it's, again, a, you're going to get more of a quiet experience up here in the Napili Kapalua area. Not as many tourists over here. It's also notable that you're going to pretty much for sure be coming from the south up to the north. As you can see here on this map, you're not going to be taking that northern road around to get to Napili. Um, normally, uh, rental car agencies don't allow for their cars to go around that side of the island, and you probably don't want to anyway just because it's a one-lane road at times, and it can get a little tight, and it's a cliff on the side, and it's just not recommended. As well, this dovetails, dovetail, dovetails excuse me, into my other subject here, which is going to be the ride to Hana. A lot of people love to go out to Hana, and it's maybe for you and maybe for not, but it's, again, worth noting that it is a very tough lane of highway to drive if you're heading out to Hana. You're going to be going all the way up through Kaului, and the roads go back and forth at 45-degree angles, uh, and it can be a little bit tough. So just prepare yourself if you are going to do that drive. Uh, though it is beautiful, there's uh, pools and there's um, waterfalls that you can check out. There's a lot of beautiful sights to see as you're taking the road, but it is a little tight and a little harrowing and your knuckles are going to be white for at least some of the trip. The other place to take note of is that you have the uh, Aliakala National Park where we've got, well, the big, huge, uh, monstrous mountain uh, that goes up to 10,023 feet. Again, a lot of people love to do this as an activity where what they do is it's a sunrise tour of the mountain where you'll be woken up about 4 a.m. and you'll drive up to the top of the mountain. They'll outfit you with a bicycle and then you ride down seeing the most beautiful sunset or sunrise you have ever seen in your life. Again, I would highly recommend it if you can get yourself out of bed that early on vacation. It is a must activity. So, this is the island is basically kind of an overview hole. We will definitely get a little bit further into the details on future episodes here. We just wanted to kind of give an overview of the islands so that you can get a snapshot, let's say. If you have any questions or you'd like us to cover any topics in these videos, please do email us or leave it in the comments. We'll certainly keep track and uh, I'll cover whatever you guys want to cover. 
So thanks for checking out our Maui Beachfront Rentals Facebook and YouTube page. Please like, please subscribe. And as well, if you have any questions about coming to Maui or you're interested in booking accommodations, we are always here. We are always available. Hit me up on Facebook. I reply back very quickly. And thank you again for taking the time to watch and uh, have yourself a great vacation.